All right, guys, well, today I have one goal and one goal only. I want to catch a salmon. I have never caught a North Dakota salmon before. I have heard that the uh, salmon are biting. Well, at least they have been the last week or so. I may have missed it. I imagine we're going to find out here pretty soon. So I'm just going to pull cranks and see what happens. All right, let's get her started. Let's see, should I bring this down a little bit? Salmon, I wanna just catch a salmon. All right, it's trolling time. throw the drone up but she's a bit windy for that my drone would end up down at the tail race don't want that so the walleye are spawning right now so I mean that bites like me I'm sure they're gonna be up shallow in the warm stuff but I have no idea if they're gonna bite at all so just gonna pull the cranks and if I got a taker I guess I'll be a taker but we are here for Salman. Maybe. <laughs> That's a fish. Here we got a fish. Oh. <laughs> oh, let's see what we got. Like I get a couple seconds of good fighting and then a couple seconds of not. I don't know what this is. Could I be getting lucky? Could it be my salmon? It's fighting weird, man. Weird. You guys, I think this is it. You guys, I think this is my salmon. Dude, I did it. You guys, yes, yes, you guys. Yeah, baby. That is my first North Dakota salmon, dude, yes. Super sweet! Oh, right! You guys! No way! Yes, dude! Yes, and something smoked it! Oh, right! No way! I am stoked about that. Mm. So I just got these two giant things of ice. So I'm gonna make like a slurry, really cool it down. All right, pump a little water in there and we're good to go.
Oh yeah. Yep. Yes, another salmon, baby. Another salmon, baby. Number two. Yes. Oh man, it's jumping? No way. All right, another little salmon. No way, I am so excited, guys. I can't even tell you. This is great. Nuts, nuts. I'm just ecstatic. There's one. There's one. Golly, it feels like another one. <laughs> These things fight a little different. And they, they hit and they come right up to the top. Oh, this is a small mouth. Well, apparently smallmouth hit and come right up to the top too. I'm not disappointed that I caught a fish, but I'm disappointed that it's not a salmon. See you later, buddy. <clears throat> this feels like a better fish. Oh, smokes. Another salmon, baby. Getting in my other line here. This guy is not excited to be caught. <clears throat> But let me tell you, buddy, I'm excited to be catching you. Yep, another good salmon. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh boy, not pretty, not pretty, not pretty. Oh, uh, what? Not pretty at all. Okay. All right. That is another beautiful salmon. Nice. Now check out the most horrible net job you've ever seen. Exact same spot. These salmon are just sitting here. 
And this is just a little one. He's going back. Oh, yowza. Oh no, he did bite it, okay. Thanks, little feller. Oh. Just about schmucked the rocks. I think we've caught enough salmon for the day. Let's get our butts home and cook up some fish. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to the office. Uh, I pulled a bonehead and I forgot to put an intro to the cooking section. So before we get started, I just want to tell you what we're doing. We're doing a smoked salmon spread. I brought it with on a few fishing trips that we had right after this. It was delicious. Everybody that ate it loved it. Be sure to check those trips out. We're going to be dropping those soon. Okay, so to get started, we had two large salmon. Uh, large in my description, I guess, was like 22, 23 inches. Um, we filleted those things out, cut them up like you would be able to buy them in a store. So first thing, there's a row of pin bones in a salmon. You can either cut them out, you can pull them out with the tweezers, or you can cook them and pull them out later. That's what I decided to do. If I were to do this again, I'd do it differently and I'd get the bones out before. Okay, let's make some salmon spread. So first things first, you need two cups of brown sugar, one cup of salt. Take your hands, mix that sucker up the best you can. Now find a flat bottom dish and just spread that mixture out until it's nice and even. Take your salmon fillets, line the bottom until it's covered. Okay, we're gonna repeat this process over and over until we're done with salmon and we have none left. Okay, now cover that thing up, take it, put it in the fridge. I did it for about eight hours. Man, that looks good. Okay, once it's all done, pull it from the fridge, wash it off in cold water, hit it on the smoker, 165 for four hours. I put some jalapeno jelly on it, pull it off when it hits 145. Okay, now that it's off, bring it in the house, let her cool down, dice that sucker up. Okay, as much salmon as you want to put in there, put in there. I've never heard somebody say, man, I wish there was less salmon in my salmon dip. Okay, once you got the salmon all done, what we're going to do next, take some green onions, chop those up about as much as you'd like. Take some red onions, dice those up as well. Again, to whatever your preference is. Once those are all done, take eight ounces of cream cheese, soften it in a plastic bowl, then take a cup of sour cream, uh, and then you're ready for the dry seasonings. Okay, you don't need salt. Don't put salt in there, there's plenty in the brine. Pepper is a go-to though, so put as much pepper as you think you would like, all of these seasonings are to taste. Garlic powder is next. Once you've got that in there, you just mix all the rest of your seasonings and things 
um, with the actual salmon meat and those vegetables that we cut up. Mixy, 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 and voila, you're done. All right, so there it is. Let's give it a try. Yeah, it tastes exactly like I thought I was going to. It's like salty, smoky, delicious. We're going fishing again tomorrow with Wyatt from Prairie Grit. And I'm gonna put a bunch of this in a to-go thing. We're gonna enjoy salmon while we're fishing for salmon. Cool, guys, thanks for watching. Um, if you haven't yet, hit the like button, click subscribe, and until next time, keep living your own prayer life.